through the streets. Cats were killed. Um, they were associated with the evil, like I said before. Um, so they thought that the cats themselves were spreading the plague and with the evil inside. Um, but they were spreading the plague. That's because they ate the rats, and the rats had the plague. <laughs> Um, yeah, so rodents carried the plague and the cats would eat the rats as a little snack and the plague would transfer over to the cats and then people would kill those cats and made it worse. So not everyone thinks cat, black cats are bad luck. In Japanese culture, the black cats are seen as good luck and the black cat crossing their path is a good omen. It's also believed that they will give you good luck in finding love. Um, in much Asian, uh, in much of Asia, uh, black cats are seen as good luck. Um, some believe that the black cats will ward off evil, and others believe that you'll be lucky if you own a black cat. Um, other ways that they're seen as good luck are some believe they can bless marriages and bring a long, happy life, and some um, think that black cats will bring wealth. Um, and when, uh, the, oh my gosh. Uh, and when wealth, like cats bringing wealth, when it's depicted, it's typically white cats, but they aren't only white cats, they are also black cats. Um, according to Fanny Sufi um, from the Spruce Head, in ancient Egypt, black cats were held the highest esteem because they resembled the Sat, the cat-headed goddess um, of home, fertility, and protection of disease. Which is that. So I guess when we really think about it, black cats shouldn't be really like associated with demons and evil spirits, because I think they're just kind of like cats. But there's no harm if you think that they're not as good, um, unless you kill them, which is harm. <laughs> um, so there's nothing wrong with participating in superstitious beliefs. Um, if you want to think they're evil, go ahead. If you want to think they're for good fortune, great fortune, go ahead. Um, yeah.